happy Monday morning. I spent the morning uh, editing and working on the section braiding sweetgrass and needed to get out for a walk, needed to move my body after sitting for so much and headed out to the forest and took a bit of a different trail today. I was listening in preparation for tomorrow's writing to the chapter Old Growth Children. And as I came up this hill, here I am, I'll just turn it this way for a moment, at a cedar tree where the people of this land have harvested, where they've done cedar pulling. And I love that because in this chapter, Robin actually talks about the Coast Salish people and one of their practices around cedar pulling and how the honoring of cedar is still done today. And that cedar, all of cedar is medicine for us in many ways. And where I live, there is still plenty cedars. However, many are at risk as well. Some of you will have heard of the Fairy Creek blockade and the protection of the old growth forests and our need to do that. Not only here in this place where I live, British Columbia, but also around the world to protect all living beings. So that's a quick update on Friday. The full section braiding sweetgrass is due, so you know where I'll be. At my desk, working away or sitting by the fire or in the evening tinkering with chapters. I hope that you're having a beautiful day and I'll just take you as a quick little flood of your own oxytocin. You know, that hormone that we need to relieve stress, cortisol. If you aren't in a place where you can get out to the forest, here. I'll take you for a moment. And out here, one of the beautiful things is the, the first inch and a half or so of the forest floor is hummus. And in our brain, it actually lowers our cortisol, which is the stress hormone, and increases our oxytocin. So even though you're not here and you can't smell that, I hope still the visual of being in the forest for a few moments has been medicine for you today.